Our spotlight story tonight is about a proposed dance tax and the protest in Olympia. Dozens of people dance salsa, swing, and blues on the steps of the Capitol in Olympia to protest the taxing of dance venues. The dancers were showing support for repealing a tax that targets venues that provide the opportunity to dance. A measure sponsored by Senate Minority Leader Ed Murray of Seattle that repeals the tax is being considered by lawmakers. Um, because there is a tax on dancing that's been on the books and been reinterpreted by the Department of Revenue that affects every nightclub and every concert venue and every music dance hall uh, ballroom in the state of Washington. It's a retail sales tax on an opportunity to dance and the Department of Revenue has yet to be able to define what that means. The bill cleared a committee and is waiting a floor vote in the Senate. Proponents of the bill say enforcement of the tax is too arbitrary, targeting medium-sized venues. According to state estimates, repealing the tax would cost the state more than $880,000 in the 2013 to 2015 budget cycle. Dance encourages social culture, getting into your body and being out in the town, spending money on local nightlife. It, it's a wonderful way for people to connect and it makes people smile. Why are those always the things that need to be taxed and pushed away? Department of Revenue spokesman Mike Gorillo says that unless lawmakers repeal the tax, the department will collect it. Sounds more like an April Fool's Day joke than a protest. We'll be right back after this.